I will show you how to authenticate the Wi-Fi on a PS5. In the first step, go to the settings and choose the parental controls and select PS5 console restrictions. Add a default password here and we need to disable the PS5 console restrictions option. Once done, it's really important step to fix this issue. Then go to the network and select the connection status. Now select the view PlayStation network status and make sure all the green circles here and all the servers are up and running. If not, then go to the settings of the internet and network and select the setup internet connection. Now press option button from the controller on your internet connection so you can access the frequency and choose automatic from here. Now go for the advanced settings. Now select the DNS settings and change it to manual to access the primary DNS and secondary DNS. So for the primary DNS add here a dot a dot a dot eight and to the secondary DNS add a dot a dot four dot four. If this not work, you can go for the one dot one dot zero dot zero and for secondary add here one dot zero dot zero dot one. Now go for OK, complete the recognition process and then just go down to the save data and game app settings, select automatic updates and enable these two options. After that, go to the system and select the power sub saving option and from the features available in rest mode, we need to select always from here and enable these two options. After that, we need to just go for the users and accounts. Select other options and choose restore licenses. Check all the games and apps from here and select restore. This will take around 4 to 5 seconds to complete the process. Once done, simply restart the PS5 and your problem will be fixed. That's it, guys. You're good to go.